Hello, you are welcome to my channel. The question I have today says find angle X below. So we are looking at this circle geometry and I want to solve this question in a very different way from what you are thinking about if you already have an idea about circle geometry. Now, the method I'm going to apply is going to be different from yours. So I would like you to also use your method and comment in the comment section below. So now for me to start, I'm looking at this triangle here that has 52 degree at this center. A line from the center to the circumference is a radius. Also a line from the center to the circumference is a radius. So that means this line is also a radius. And then from center to circumference, also a radius. So if you look at this triangle now, triangle DOC, you will see that this side is equal to this side. And then if you also look at triangle COB, you also see that this side is equal to this side. So these two triangles have this side equal, there are two vertical sides equal, and their base side also equal. So it means that the two triangles are exactly equal because all their three sides, all their three corresponding sides are equal. So the three corresponding sides of this triangle, DOC, is equal to the three corresponding sides of triangle COB. So that means all their corresponding angles are equal. So which means that this angle will be equal to this angle, this angle will be equal to this angle, and also their top angle will also be equal. So if this is 52, this is also 52 because there are two equal triangles and all their three corresponding angles are equal. So this is 52. So that means the angle at this center is 104. That is 52 plus 52. So the angle at this center will give me 104 degrees 104 let me write it here 104 degrees as the angle at this center now looking at this point here this is the center here if we go around this point this point oh now i'm going around this point oh this point so this is like a circle or we say angle at a point angle at a point the sum of angle at the point is 360 I believe you know that already. Sum of angle at the point is 360. So is, if this side is already 104, then this remaining side now, this remaining angle, this remaining angle will be 360 minus 104. So I'm going to write it as 360 minus 104. And that will give me 256. 256 degree. So that means at this point here, I have 256 degree. So this angle here is 256 as we have just obtained. Now, if I trace a line from here down to this point, a straight line, you agree with me that this line is also a radius. So this is using triangle D O. A now, this is a radius, this is a radius, and this is the third side. So this angle, this triangle, I mean, is an isosceles triangle because this is radius, this is radius, and then it means that these two sides are equal. So it is an isosceles triangle. And the base angle of an isosceles triangle are equal. So if this is X, this angle here will also be X. So now, Come back to this triangle, DOA. Look at it and compare it with triangle AOB. This is radius, this is radius, and this side of the triangle, that is AD, is equal to AB. So you agree with me that these two triangles are also exactly equal triangles. Triangle DOA is exactly equal to triangle AOB because all their corresponding sides are equal. This long side is equal to this side. 
this side and this side they are also equal to this side and this side of this triangle so the two triangles are exactly equal so if they are exactly equal just as i have said before it means all their corresponding angles are also equal so that means this angle will, will be x because in this one it is also x and this angle will also be x so you can see now we have x and x and then on this side x and x because they are exactly equal triangle so now let's look at a quadrilateral finally finally now let's look at a quadrilateral d o b a or i can call it a b o d i'm looking at this this quadrilateral now a four-sided figure is a quadrilateral and the sum of angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 so the angles we have in this quadrilateral we have this angle x we have this full angle which will give me 2x that is x plus x is 2x and then we have this angle x and then we have this inside angle that we got as 256 so this angle that we got as 256 so if we add all of them together because it is a quadrilateral if we add all of them together it's going to give us 360 because some of angle in a quadrilateral add up to 360 so i'm going to say this one which is x plus this angle here which is 2x that is s plus s that is 2x plus this angle here which is x and then plus the fourth angle of this quadrilateral which is 256 that we got here 256 everything should add up to 360 sum of angle in a quadrilateral so x plus 2x plus x will give us 4x that is 1x plus 2x is 3x plus 1x 4x so i have 4x and then plus 256 that should give us 360 degrees now i leave the 4x here and i say it's equal to the 360 that is already on the right when this positive 256 goes to the right hand side it becomes negative 256 so i now have 4x is equal to 360 minus 256 will give me 104 so i can now divide both sides by four divide this side by four and also this side by four so when i do that what i'm going to have left is four we cancel four and i'm left with x on this side and is equal to 104 divided by four we give me 26. so the value of angle x in this diagram is 26 degrees so please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified of any time i create a video like this i hope you enjoyed this method that i applied in this circle geometry problem please don't forget to share your own method in the comment section and please like this video so that others can also learn from it thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video